Hi Brett from WordPressSites.net. In respect of my latest blog post, Learn Search Engine Optimization for WordPress, this is a 5 minute SEO tutorial. I'll just basically explain the contents of my latest blog post and all these SEO methods and, and little tricks and tips I use myself on my own site and I've found to be quite useful. There's a lot of others I've tried that haven't worked. but. Uh, I thought I'd put all the good ones down in a blog post and uh, I did this last night and it was pretty straightforward. Um, the, the first thing you should do when you install your WordPress site is change the permalink structure. Uh, up the top here you've got your top level domain, mine's wordpresssites.net, then you've got the category and then you've got the post name and all these have uh, relevant keywords in them. Mine have WordPress SEO, Learn Search Engine Optimization for WordPress SEO. So this is really good for SEO. Uh, and and then the custom structure you should use is category post name. I believe that's, a, that's the best one. Don't use the default, it's really no good and it won't help you at all. So, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just go into your WordPress dashboard, go to settings under permalinks, click on permalinks and uh, you'll see there's provision there to enter that, uh, that special uh, custom permalink structure. Um, make sure you do this when you very first uh, install WordPress before you've done the, uh, created any blog posts, otherwise you will have to uh, install a redirection plugin to, uh, you know, you'll break all your existing links if you don't do it properly. Uh, your site name and your title tags are very, very important. They're amongst the most uh, important SEO elements on your page. Uh, it's a first chance to tell search engines what, what your page is about, uh, and the search engines weight this particular tag very heavily. So uh, make sure your title tags and your site title um, are search engine friendly and, and have relevant keywords in them that are related to the content on each particular post and page and, and, and generally for your whole site so this is really important and, and most SEOs agree that the keywords should be near the beginning of the title tags rather than the end uh, that seems to help your rankings a little bit as well so every, every little bit is important clean coded themes offer far superior SEO it's, it's so true when I first started out and I think like most people they use a free theme and uh, <coughs> When, when you upgrade to something like Thesis or Genesis, in particular Thesis, I, I do know my traffic has more than doubled since and, and, uh, and I really believe it's got a lot to do with the theme and there's a lots of little uh, benefits of using a, a theme like Thesis uh, that, that, that you don't know about until you use it. There, there really is a fantastic uh, framework. I mean, Thesis, Thesis really is a, a premium WordPress framework, it's not a theme. To, to add a theme, you can actually add a theme on top of Thesis or what they call a skin. Uh, they don't call them themes. But uh, the Thesis, the thesis um, theme is not, is not a theme, it's, it's an advanced um, framework, WordPress framework, and the SEO is excellent, it's the best in the, in, in the market. Nothing beats original content that's highly related to the search query and the keyword that you're targeting. Uh, so um, make, make, make sure your, your content's highly relevant. If it's going to be, if you talk, if you're writing about uh, green tea, for instance, don't start rambling on about coffee, milk, and sugar. You know, keep it uh, keep it related to green tea, different categories of green tea, different flavors of green tea, different brands of green tea and keep it highly relevant. Keyword research is extremely important and it's really quite simple. You should apply it every time you're writing your blog post. Google offers a lot of free tools. Um, they offer related searches at the bottom of every search page. They offer a free Google AdWord tool and they also offer a wonder wheel if you want a lot of depth. So uh, I definitely use Google a lot myself. Now this might cause a bit of a, st a stir but uh, you know, PageRanker is only one factor out of over 200 that Google uses to, to uh, in their algorithm. So really, I wouldn't focus on PageRank too much. It's not going to help your search engine any results. Or, and there's more information on that. And the SEO experts, the guys that really know what they're doing, all agree on that. Uh, finally, make sure you use your keyword in your anchor text when you're linking to another page or post.